Gail Ayers, the CEO at Crew Network. Just wanted to introduce you to Steve Forbes, who's speaking to us today about the commercial real estate industry, the state of the economy, and to give us some tips on what we need to do to run the businesses much, much smarter. Um, I think all of you know Steve, and we're very glad to have you. Welcome, welcome to Crew. Good to be here. Thank you, Gail. When, when you're working, as you think about the future of our economy and you think about what we can all do to be productive citizens and make wise decisions for our companies and our industry, what advice do you have for us? Well, one is to have a, one as a company to have a sense of direction. What is it that you wish to do? Peter Drucker, late great management guru, said every company should ask themselves, what is it that we are trying to do? You do that, then you get less caught up if the means to achieve that goal changes, or goals change. And then in terms of the environment around you, uh, my grandfather always said, uh, always have cash on hand. You never know what's going to uh, come around the corner. Especially in commercial real estate, we all know uh, this is not uh, a smooth path. And then in terms of the future though, even though things are going to be rocky for the next two to three years, or dicey, uh, the world economy is going to be, in I think the latter part of this decade, in boom mode again. So you have to get through the current turbulence, but also be prepared for better times to come. Many parts of the country today are doing well, but that's going to look like kids' play compared to what I think is going to happen in the later part of this decade. It's a very interesting projection. Uh, that suggests to me that what you're really warning us about is that the value of certain assets can change abruptly. And we've seen that. <clears throat> you cannot anticipate. One of the things about being a leader is you're not going to anticipate everything. You are going to get hit by curveballs. And so sometimes there's going to be no playbook. You're going to have to go on your gut. And uh, that's why leadership can be pretty lonely. It is lonely. Leadership is lonely. And I think that the more we see this turbulent time, the more we realize it is very lonely. Um, if you had words of encouragement to give us about the decisions we have to make and the leadership that it's going to take, do you think we've got two or three years? Or do you think this roller coaster ride is going to be imminent? It's, uh, that's the thing, you don't know. What is the Federal Reserve going to do? We don't know. What is Vladimir Putin going to do? We have an idea, but the repercussions we're not quite sure of. How is our government going to react? What is Iran going to do? So a lot of variables out there, but if you focus on what is your mission, you make sure you've got a little bit of a cushion there if things turn on you, uh, you're going to be okay. And the key thing is, always be looking as you get through the current turbulence where do I want to be five years from now? And how do I prepare now? You've got to do two things at once. Get through these turbulent waters, which right now for most are pretty good, but we know that weather can change quickly. But in five years from now, where do I want to be? Where does this company have to be? And uh, that's why you get paid as a leader. It's very good advice. Very good advice. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, and Gail. Welcome to Crew Network. We, we appreciate you and we value what you have to tell us. And there's hardly anyone who won't listen to Steve Forbes. Thank you. Thank you, Gail.